Hi, my name is Ayala. And if you're watching the series about family yoga, we are, we've been talking about our breath and using feathers. So I have a little feather here that I would like to show you some things you could do with your children at home. So it doesn't have to be such a long feather. It can be a really, really tiny one. But if you do have a big feather, it's a really nice way to feel how this part of the feather can move without making the other side move. And this is how we encourage children to use their breath. So even by being able to breathe to one side of the feather, and then gently see if you can breathe on the other side of the feather. And then maybe even encourage your children to breathe all around the feather in one big breath. This by itself encourages the children to breathe for longer and to exhale softer because they do like to breathe forcefully like that, which is absolutely fantastic. But we do want to encourage children to breathe softly and later on evenly. So if we will take a little feather, you can just start to do the same. So that might be very easy to find around. And just by blowing around the hair of the feather and trace the shape of the feather. And I like to offer children to tell me what they have in their mind, what they think they can come up with when they're holding a feather. And they immediately will share with you their thoughts and their ideas about activities that they can do with the feather. And these are some of the things that they shared with me is stroking the cheeks or even going along the arm and then the other arm. And this is all things that they like to do. And you can make sounds, you can take the feather goes up, wee, and down, whoa, and the other side, wee, and down, whoa. And holding the feather maybe and placing it on different parts of our body and see if we can balance it on our arms or maybe on top of our head or maybe even on our shoulders one shoulder and the other shoulder. Maybe we can place the feather on our knees. And you can start just by sitting down, but you can definitely start to move around and do yoga poses like cat pose, balancing the feather on the back, or maybe lying on the floor. So letting the feather be on your belly and feel how your breath moves up and down. And to place an object on the belly of the children. It's a va fantastic way for them to start and understand how their belly actually moves. And the feather is such a beautiful way. First of all, they can hold it and they can feel it. And that by itself helps them to realize the movement of their breath. When you invite children to play with the feather, you can even offer them to hold the feather in between the palms and see how it feels, if it reminds them of any animal, if it's heavy, if it's soft, if they can just let go. If you will offer children opportunities to play with feather, you will be amazed of how many ideas they can come up with. Another useful thing that I like to do with children is playing with, playing with them with cards. So here I have Enchanted Wonders cards, but you can easily create at home on cards, yoga poses, and let the children draw their own poses. And immediately by that, you will encourage their, you will encourage their creativity to flourish and let their ideas of what yoga poses they can come up with. So even if you are laying out, lying, if you're placing on the floor cards and asking the children what poses they like to do today and then follow their lead, that can be a wonderful way for you to share, to start and share yoga with your children. 
the next step that you can do with the yoga cards is creating a yoga dance, as I like to call it. When the children choose their own cards, it can be four cards, it can be six cards, place them on the floor in the order that they like to do it, and then follow, follow the movement on the cards. And this is when they can teach you, you empower them. This is where they can teach you how to share the yoga dance. And then if you want, you can create your own yoga dance. So take cardboards, create your own cards together, and enjoy the time. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs>